to the Needy Homesteader channel and today's video is going to be part of the collab that I'm doing with some of my favorite people here in YouTube land. Uh, it is Paul from Paul's Rule of Thumb, Mandy from More to Life, Lisa from Sutton's Days, um, Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen, as well as Angie from Angie's Pantry and we are bringing you what? 31 days of canning in jarred up January. I'm so excited about this collab because it's a whole month of canning, right? And I am focusing more um, my canning recipes for this collab to towards the beginners, the newbies out there who want to start to learn how to can, who just got their first water bath canner or just got a pressure canner for the very first time, and now what? So um, I'm trying to focus on simple recipes. So um, my first uh, video was a really simple Mrs. Wages salsa, three ingredients. So you're more focused on the canning process than you are actually trying to bring something together. Um, when we were talking about this collab, it was brought to my attention that I'm I think the only one in the group that cans pie filling. And I love home can pie filling. I love having it on my shelf. I use it all the time. Um, and it's really not that difficult to make. So um, I'm gonna kind of demystify pie filling and I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I'm making, today I'm making a blueberry vanilla pie filling. Um, I have two quarts left on my on my shelf and I'm a little panicky so I'm looking forward to getting uh, some more quarts on my shelf and I'm gonna bring you along. I'm gonna show you how I do it um, and I hope it just inspires you to try pie filling if you haven't tried it. Uh, it can be a little tricky with the um, cook type clear gel that you use um, but if you do it nice and slow and uh, you follow all the steps you shouldn't have any problems. So. I'm kind of combining two recipes. Um, you guys know if you've seen any of my previous videos or my beginner videos, my favorite canning book in the whole wide world is the Amish Canning Cookbook. Um, and this is the pie filling that I always use. These are, her, my recipes are her recipes. I love this book. So I'm gonna be using her blueberry pie filling, except I'm gonna be adding a little bit of vanilla to mine. And I'm getting the vanilla idea from this cookbook, which is from Better Homes and Gardens. It's the complete canning guide. However, I don't necessarily like the recipe. Um, so I'm going with my tried and true recipe. I'm just gonna add a vanilla bean or two to mine. So you don't have to do that. You can leave out the vanilla altogether. That's how I usually do it. I've never tried it with a with you know cooking in a vanilla flavor into my blueberry pie filling before. So I'm gonna just try it because it intrigued me and it sounded really good. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm going to be using this recipe. So if you're looking for the recipe, get this book. I will leave the link down below. I bought mine from Amazon. That's where I bought mine. So um, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can find it. All right, so now I'm gonna spin you around. I'm gonna, you don't have to look at my ugly mug for the rest of this is like, you know, this is how I look most days in my house. <laughs> Hair up, face naked, <laughs> my, my sweater coat on, <laughs> and um, it's snowy outside. It's really dry in the house, so it's a perfect day to can, get a lot of humidity in the air. I love canning in January and February. Um, it just warms up the house, it warms up the whole upper floor, um, and it adds some moisture into the air uh, instead of having to run a humidifier. So, um, all right, let's get you spinned around and let's get to making some pie filling. Just to kind of go through what I'm using here, this is six quarts of blueberries. These blueberries in particular are the ones that um, Matt and I picked when we went with Lisa and Phil over at Sutton's Days, um, and we picked those in the fall, and they're, they're fantastic. So I went ahead and I had cleaned them all up and um, froze them, and um, now they're ready to go except for I got a little broken one there. Um, you know, pick through them if you want. Um, I'm gonna use the broken ones anyway uh, because, you know, it just adds to the juice. So here we have six quarts of blueberries. You can use frozen, that's usually what I use. This was the first year I ever picked blueberries. So normally I use frozen and I buy them in bulk at Sam's Club. Um, we're gonna be using six cups of sugar. So I already have that all measured out in my bowl there. 
we are going to be using two and a quarter cups of clear gel. Now, here's the trick when you're making um, pie filling and you're canning it. You want to get, let's see if we'll focus here, you want to get the cook type clear gel. Now, I get mine from a place called Country View. It's a Mennonite store here in Michigan. Um, but you can get this on Amazon. So, if I can, if I can jump online later and find you guys a link um, with a good price. <laughs> Sorry for me, that's just going to sing. Um, I will do that for you, but this is what you want. You do not want the instant type. You want the cook type. So that's really super important. We are also going to be using a half a cup of lemon juice. You want bottled lemon juice when you're canning, not fresh lemon juice, because the pH, um, the acidity level in bottled juice is spot on. Your lemons can differ. And um, because we're making, you know, this is a high acid food, we're water bath canning this, we are not pressure canning this. So we wanna make sure that it's nice and safe and we have a nice amount of acid in it. So use bottled lemon juice for that. And then it also calls for uh, seven cups of either cold water or you can use um, grape juice, um, apple juice. I've used apple juice, it's fantastic. Gives it a little bit more flavor than, um, than just using plain water. Uh, today I am using white grape juice because that's what I have on hand. Um, so I am using white grape juice. So that is going to be seven cups of that. You can just use plain cold water though. I only have four cups measured out. I'll dump this and then I'll I'll add in um, my other three cups. So um, that and that's really that's all you need now. The uh, secret ingredient I'm going to be adding into mine is I've got a couple of um, vanilla beans in here that I need to use up. They've been in here quite a while. I want to buy a new batch. Vanilla beans are so expensive though. So if you don't have vanilla beans or if you don't want to spend the money on putting vanilla beans in this recipe, just forego it. I'm just doing this just to try it out because I've never done it before. So um, it's going to be a little little fun experiment for me um but that's it guys really super easy um this you know you newbies out there you beginner canners you can do this so um i'm gonna spin you around i'm gonna show you i'm using a nice big pot i actually i love this pot it's an enamel pot that i got actually from aldi's for relatively really inexpensive it came with a couple little dings in it but i, I did not care it does not affect the use of this pot at all and I love canning in it and then I already have my uh, my water here boiling this is why I wear the long sleeve sweater and <laughs> boiling my jars away so I've got seven quarts in there we should be able to fill seven but you know sometimes you get a little less it all depends on how the blueberries cook down so um if it ends up being less I'll put the remaining in my fridge and I will probably make a blueberry cobbler out of it to be honest <laughs> so um i already have my mat out um i leave a link up above to um the video that i i did um last week about how i set up uh, for canning session so i already have a mat out um i have my jar lifters i have my scoop i have my funnel i just need to get out my um my lid lifter and my debubbler so i need to grab those out of the dishwasher and then we'll be ready to rock and roll here so all right i'm going to take you over here and we're going to add everything into the into the pot okay guys so there you are inside my pot and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to add our sugar in here okay get all of it in there all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our cook type clear gel all right and this is specifically made for canning so you're not going to get any any issues any clumps any density issues nothing like that it's going to be beautiful we want to make sure let me get a spatula here and scrape all of that wonderfulness out and right into the pot All right, then we want to go ahead and we want to mix these two things together really well. So I'm just using um, a, wick, a whisk and it's one of these silicone coated ones. They're wonderful for not scraping your pan. 
Okay, so once you get all of that mixed together really well, we're gonna go ahead and now's the time you're gonna either add your water or your juice. And in my case, it's gonna be white grape juice. So there's four cups, we need seven. So let me go ahead and pour another three cups in here. Also with your blueberries, um, especially like mine, uh, which are frozen, I go ahead and I put it in a strainer and I um, give them a really good washing. Make sure they're nice and clean. Um, I did that before I froze them. I cleaned them and I took all the, the little um, stems off of them, but I give them another good washing anyway, right before using them. They've been thawing in my fridge for two days. <laughs> So they were no longer frozen. Um, if you use frozen blueberries, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna have a heck of a time. I will say that um, I've done that one time, <laughs> and never again. Now I thaw the blueberries. So there's a tip from me. Um, making it with frozen blueberries, Ugh, it takes forever to bring it to a boil. It's just it's tough. It's tough. All right. So now we're gonna mix this juice and the sugar. And the, and the clear gel together. And we are going to go ahead and turn this on. All right, and we are going to pretty much constantly stir this um, over medium heat until this begins to boil. Okay, so that is the first step to this. We wanna bring this to a nice boil. By the way, over here, I have my lids and my rings that um, I have in simmered water. It's shut off now, so it's just gonna sit there and get hot. It's just gonna soften up that um, compound on the lids for me. Uh, we are just going to keep stirring this. All the little lumps that are gonna be in here are gonna disappear, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. So I will bring you back when we get to that point. Okay, so I wanted to add, because you know, I almost forgot. Let me see if that, uh, as this starts to come up. Now, you had two vanilla beans, cut them lengthwise, and scoop out the seeds and put them in. My vanilla beans, I'm just gonna add in this way because they're a little, getting a little dry. So I'm gonna add my vanilla beans now. And with this mixture, as this starts coming up to a heat, and you want to start with cold water or cold juice, and bring it up to a heat slowly over medium here, um, but you're going to notice that it gets thicker. So you want to stir it constantly as it thickens. Um, you don't want it burning. You don't want it getting clumpy. You want to just... Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. And this is what's gonna give you that nice thick pie filling texture. So just keep stirring as this comes up to a boil. And um, and like I said, if you're using vanilla beans, um, split them in half, scoop out the seeds. You'll get a nice, stronger uh, taste and flavor. Mine are a little, little dry for that. They've been downstairs wrapped in a bag in a jar, sealed. But um, they're getting a little dried out. So I'm just going to add mine in this way. I need to buy more. If anybody has a good source at a good price for vanilla beans. Leave it down in the comment section for me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going and this is starting to thicken up. I don't know if you can tell as much on the screen, but it's getting nice and thick now as we're starting to really heat this up. All right, just keep stirring, just keep stirring, just keep okay. stirring. So, <laughs> now I'm short, I'm a shorty. I'm five foot tall on a good day, so I'm up on a stool. And if you have to get up on a stool to make it a little easier, by all means do that. So, um, but you see that? You see how thick this has gotten now? 
That is what you want, my friends. That is what you want. So we're gonna actually gonna take this. I've got a spoon I like to use for my pie filling. Get all this scraped off of here. Okay. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's your pie filling. Look at that. All right. Get it to a boil here. What it's just about at. We're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna add our half a cup. Yeah, that's boiling. We're gonna add our half a cup of lemon juice. I'm gonna set the timer on my um, on my clock for one minute. And now we are gonna stir this for one minute. Okay, one minute is up, and now we are gonna start adding our blueberries, and then we're gonna take out those vanilla beans before we can them. So, go ahead, we're gonna add some blueberries. I'm gonna stir these in quickly, and just so that nothing burns. <laughs> Mama's blueberries, that's right. I got some of them in there. And now all we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this until we can bring this back up to a boil, okay? So let me get some more. <laughs> it's Mina. Mina's stealing my blueberries out of the bowl. <laughs> That's so good. Is that so good? Um, yeah. I'm making them. <laughs> yes, I'm making them. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> That's good blueberries? Okay. Stir these in. I've got a little bit left in my bowl. I will try to add them before Mina eats them. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Let's get these in. All right. Yes, they're very good. They're going to be even better as a pie filling. All right, so I'm going to keep stirring this in nonstop until I can bring this back up to a boil. And when we're back up to a boil and get this bubbling, we will be ready to put it in jars. Like I said, for you shorty girls, up on a stool. <laughs> it works. Gosh, I can see it now. I'm going to be an old Welsh grandma. <laughs> Canning in front of my grandbabies. Oh, wouldn't that be a blessing? I hope so. All right, I'm gonna keep stirring here and I'll bring you back when we're all ready to go bird's eye view from where I'm standing and um, this is now beginning to bubble so I'm gonna wait for it to bubble a little bit more you want to make sure you get all your vanilla beans out of there um, all the little pieces it's easier if you just do two vanilla beans unlike what I did which was several um, but make sure you get them all out of there and um, we're about ready to can this up guys as I stand on my stool <laughs> Alright guys, so we are ready to go here with our pie filling, which is just, oh, 
It's beautiful. You can see it in there. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, you can definitely smell the vanilla. So I am going to be very excited to give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my quartz. Now you can do this in quartz. You can do this in pints. I make pie filling in quartz because one quart can make a really nice pie or a really nice um, dump cake. So for me, a quart is the perfect size. We're going to go ahead and put the funnel on. You guys can see that. You guys can see all that. And then we're going to go ahead and fill this up. And pie filling is one of those things that I love having on my shelf. I use it, it's a go-to all the time. If I find that somebody is coming by unexpectedly, um, I can literally just grab a jar, dump it in pie crust, and, um, and bake it quickly. Um, birthdays, parties, just last minute, you're invited somewhere who wanna bring something. Um, you can dump it in um, a Pyrex dish and sprinkle a box of cake mix. I always keep vanilla cake mix on my shelf, usually from Aldi's. <laughs> and, um, you know, throw some butter on top and you got a dump cake, which is almost like a, like a cobbler, almost. So, all right. All right, now pie filling is one of those exceptions that you want to leave a little extra headspace on. So they recommend, uh, it depends on what book you read, but between a, um, one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch headspace, okay? So this is your inch here, one inch headspace, uh, just slightly under that. And that's because this is going to expand when it processes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to debubble this. I'm going to make sure I get all of as many of the air bubbles as I can out of this. Now that I know I've got my head space exactly where I want it. So my pie filling has just a couple little extra things you just got to be aware of and headspace for it is one of those things. So, there we go. I'm gonna bring you in close and let you take a look at inside the jar, what it looks like, okay? I keep about an inch and a half inch, you know, one and a half inch headspace is what I like to do. Um, I just like to make sure that I have enough for this to expand while it processes. All right, and then I've got my vinegar here. I'm going to give this a nice wipe and then off stage left I have my lids and my rings in hot simmered water okay fingertip tight and this jar is hot so hopefully you guys can get a good look at that oh it's beautiful so pretty Cobblers, crisps, pies. So nice to have this on hand. All right, we're going to empty another jar slowly and carefully. We're going to fill one more together. I don't want to bore you guys, um, but I know beginners like to see the entire process. So we're going to go ahead, fill one more jar together, and I'll get the other ones done and in the canner and we will be ready to get going here okay. 
like to use a clean stainless steel spoon. Kind of help this along because this is nice and thick. Okay. And if you feel like you've got a little too much, you can pull some out. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and get all my bubbles out. Bubble that as well as I can. about a half inch below your one inch space, okay? All right, go ahead and dip this in vinegar. And it's gonna get hot lid, hot lid. All right, another one in the canner. Now I'm gonna keep going here. I will bring you back when I get every jar filled and we get to processing here and I will, we can move on to the next step of getting this beautiful pie filling up in our pantry shelf. Okay. I'm not kidding you when I say, you may have to try to scrape every little it a blueberry pie filling out of your jars in order to get it but you should get seven quarts <laughs> I got just seven quarts <laughs> all right let me get a lid on this and a ring and get this in by the way guys I tasted this it is fantastic I do not think that the vanilla would add that much extra flavor mmm mmm but it certainly has. I think I'm going to have to add vanilla each and every time. It just adds this smoothness to it. And you get this undertone of the vanilla bean. So good. By the way, I did find one little. One that I knew I was missing one little one from my, from my batch. I had to dig it out. So, next time I do this, I will add, be adding two fresh vanilla beans. Split. Scrape out the seeds. And then that way it'll be really easy to pick out just two vanilla beans. And I will do it before I add the blueberries so it's easy to find. Just learn from my mistakes. <laughs> this is not a how-to video. This is just how I do it to inspire you for you to do it. That's it. I just want everybody canning. This is fantastic. All right, let me get this okay, in the so can. So now's the time. You know, you're going to check and make sure that uh, there's enough water over your jars to be able to can this. And you'll see how full this canner is. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take it off a low, I'm gonna put it back on high. I'm gonna put my lid on. Now this is gonna process, really for my time it's 30 minutes, um, but I'm gonna do it for 35 minutes and then I'm gonna let it sit in the canner for five minutes. That's just always worked for me out real well. So um, once this comes to a full rolling boil, as I showed you guys in my, um, in my beginner uh, video of how I set up, I'll, like I said, uh, the link will be up above. Um, I'll keep checking this. You can hear it. You can usually hear when your water begins to boil. When I see this at a hard rolling boil, I'm gonna put the co cover back on and I'm gonna start my time. I leave this canner on high and I do not lift the lid at all for 35 minutes, okay? But check your altitude um, because your processing time will, may be different than here you know, in Michigan. So, um, I'll wait for that to boil. When it does, 35 minutes, I'll take it off heat. I'll remove the lid. I'll let it sit for five minutes and rest. And then I'm gonna pull these beauties out of the canner. And uh, when I do, I will bring you back and show you what it looks like. Mason, would you like to try some of my pie filling? What do you think? You like it? Mina, you wanna try? What do you think? Good. Is it good? That's good. It's good? You want that in a pie? <laughs> My little picky eater, it gives you a two thumbs up or one thumb up? Two? Two? Two thumbs up? 
Well, I'll be. Oh, I my. guess you have four thumbs up. <laughs> my little All super right. Thumb. So it has been, I can get you oh, aimed up there just a little bit. It has been 35 minutes and then I took off the lid and I've been letting them sit in my canner for another five minutes, but I'm gonna lift them out now. Oh, and look at how beautiful, can you see that? Hopefully it's focusing for you. So beautiful. So you will notice that there's been a color change. It's deep purple now, um, instead of more of a light purple. Absolutely beautiful. And I also don't know if you've noticed. Um, let's see if I can get it focused on that headspace. You see how the... Um, the pie filling has risen so it does expand which is why you need that one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch head space so you're going to lift them straight out of the canner do not tilt them at all if you can avoid it and don't worry about the water that's on the top of the lids that will, that will evaporate right off of there Look at how beautiful. Oh, seven more jars to put up in my pantry. Here we go. So, look at that. <gasps> Ah, I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, we are, what, two weeks in now to the Jarred Up January uh, with my fellow canners here. And um, I hope you're enjoying this collab. It has been so much fun to put this all together for you guys. And just, you know, this isn't a... Uh, let me teach you or you know anything like that this is simply to inspire you so for anybody who's been on the fence about making pie filling now you see how it's done and how easy it is and you're going to find your own rhythm as a canner you're going to find your own rhythm your own way of doing things um but i tell you what a what an amazing and beautiful process it is it's so rewarding it's so fulfilling it's so empowering and the fact that now you know, I, I will let these sit for 24 hours. I will take off the bands tomorrow, um, give these a nice hot soapy wash in um, water and um, label them and put them by and, and put them in my pantry. And it's just how rewarding, what a blessing. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. I love taking you along with me for this. And um, I look forward to seeing you in another six days for another uh, recipe. And so I will be seeing you guys. Um, and as always, check out the other canners that are in this collab. Uh, Paul from Paul's R Rule of Thumb, Mandy from More to Life, Lisa from Sutton Stays, Angie from Angie's Pantry, and Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen. Um, they're all working really hard uh, to bring you guys, you know, some inspiration for the month of January. And somebody asked me why January? Because January is such a cold month. It's kind of a depressing month. It's a long month. It's after the holidays where everything kind of just kind of slows down. We're all kind of like, you know, in the thick of winter, most of us. And um, what better way to heat up your house and add humidity? I mean, look at my canner is still smoking. <laughs> it's nice and toasty warm in my house right now. So um, what better way to kind of warm up January and make it fly by um, than to uh, 31 days of canning, I mean. <laughs> It's fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll be seeing you in six days with another canning video. All right. Bye, guys.